one second. Wait one second. Wait, what just happened? The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Jay died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him in eternal glory. Please join us in our opening song.
I'd like to welcome you to St. Paul Catholic Church. I'm Bishop Jim Golka. On behalf of the entire Diocese of Colorado, we surround the family of Jay with our hope and our prayer today. We're grateful for the presence of so many of you. Mr. Governor, glad to have you here. Our Mr. Mayor is here. We have people of many different faith traditions. We pray better together than alone. So please pray in your tradition as we offer this Catholic Mass. When I first came to the diocese two years ago, Jay asked to see me, so we went to lunch at a nice German restaurant. And we spoke and Jay looked at me and said, Bishop, welcome, what can I do for you? It's a great way to welcome a new bishop. So I talked for 20 minutes straight and I finished and Jay looked at me and said, I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> I missed a good opportunity, but I gained a good friend. Let us pray. O oh God, you are water for our thirst, manna in our desert. We praise you for the life of Jay and bless your mercy that has brought his suffering to an end. Now we beg that same endless mercy to raise him to new life. Nourished by the food and drink of heaven, may he rest forever in the joy of Christ our Lord. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet it is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through the stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faith shall abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, behold my Beyond my fears, from death into life. 
gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by the ways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O God, behold my loss, see all my fears from death into life. Though I should wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, behold my wants, behold my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd ye, O God, behold my loss, behold my fears from death Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd ye, O God, behold my wants, behold my fears from death into A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his only son, but handed him over for us all. Will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather, was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Jesus. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, the gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Bishop Golka, Bishop Berg, Mayor Mobilati, Representative Lamborn, those dignitaries from our military community and from our civic community, and Gina, and Mike, and Vince, and Lori, you each feel a certain emptiness at the passing of Jay. The house next door to me is now empty, and I'm sad. Jay, 22 years ago, invited me to live next door in the house that he and Emily had remodeled so that the diocese could be helped in taking care of my housing. It was just one of those quiet things Jay did that benefited so many. I recall many years ago when he partnered with the Denver Broncos and Mike Shanahan to bring about parks and playgrounds for children. It's no accident that America the Beautiful Park has a street named Chimino Drive, the Garden of the Gods Park, and the now brand new Fisher's Peak Park are the invention of Jay Chimino. So no wonder we feel something truly empty now in the communities of Trinidad, Pueblo, Colorado Springs, and Denver. So much that Jay dreamt up and then made happen are now part of his legacy to us. I'm part of a wonderful ministry helping people to find God in their lives in a very personal way. We call it One Simple Voice. Several years ago, Jay asked us to partner with Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center here in Colorado Springs and to become the spiritual arm of the assistance of mind, body, and spirit for our veterans. It's been a joy to work with him and Mount Carmel over the years. And since then, he's opened the center, uh, a center in uh, from Mount Carmel in Pueblo at St. Mary Corwin Hospital, and originally redesigned a parish 
named Mount Carmel in Trinidad to become a service center for the community. When the Diocese of Pueblo no, had, no longer had enough priests to staff two parishes in Trinidad, one of them closed and it was Mount Carmel. Some of you know what happens when Jay doesn't like something. <laughs> Jay didn't like that. It's the parish he grew up in. So what did he do? He bought it. Then what did he do with that? He remodeled the whole property. And he turned it into a service center for the city of Trinidad providing health care, both mental and physical, and even had a little theater, a little community theater that could be used by the city of Trinidad. And of course, those of you from Trinidad know that Father Trinidad is Jay Chimino. Hotels and parks and memory centers and so on and so forth that Jay has brought about. And of course, he's known for his fill on dealerships. I always was fascinated. He never wanted his own name on the dealerships because he so honored the memory of Phil Long, who himself was a veteran. And Jay, as a Marine, has always held high esteem for veterans and their needs as he helped them to attain vehicles in the area. So this is a time when we experience a great emptiness in our community and especially in the Chimino family. Our hearts go out to you. We're here today because the virtue of faith that Jay and Emily held so dear teaches that he is with God for all eternity in the greatest joy one could ever imagine. Jay was very unassuming, but what God can do is totally amazing. Do not let your hearts be troubled, says Jesus in the Gospel of John. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms, so that where I, when I return, I'll take you with me, so that where I am, you also may be. How more reassuring could any scripture passage be than that one? And then long before Jesus, the book of wisdom was able to say that the souls of the just are in the arms of God. Isn't that beautiful? The souls of the just are in the arms of God. The soul of Jay is in the arms of God. To us, he may seem gone, but Jay is in the arms of God. I guess what we need to take from this for ourselves is that this is our destiny as well. We try to live by faith that shows us that kind of hope. I know that as I watch Jay and Emily through the years, they never miss Mass on Sunday. They were so deeply invested in what they believed. So today is a day of emptiness and a day of completeness. We live in between both realities. We are people of the already and not yet. Our destiny is joined to Jay's and Emily's. Thanks be to God who has given us all this great hope. May God bless you all.
My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us, his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Jay received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. Our brother Jay was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear prayer. our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. The family and friends of Jay seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. prayer. Lord God, giver of peace, healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all those who sleep in Christ. Grant them a place in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I know you walk through awful ways. Come, follow me. And I will hear you pray. If you pass through raging waters, in the sea you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall be armed. If you stand before the rock and death is at your side, Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I know you walk through all ways. Come, follow me. And I will give you rest. Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if we and this thought, it will all be of me. Blessed, blessed are you. Be not afraid. I know you all your ways. Come, follow me. 
In our Catholic Mass, we come to the time of praying for communion. When communion time arrives, if you are not Catholic or not receiving communion, you're most welcome to come forward to receive a blessing. At that time, just place your hand over your heart and we offer a blessing with each other. Then you can return to your seat. And again, we just are grateful for your presence and invite you to pray from your own tradition here today. In our tradition, we also pray for our dead. So we pray that we all find our way to heaven and we can help each other to do that. And we have a strange but beautiful belief in our Catholic tradition of the communion of saints. I have a sister who died a year ago, two days ago, and I feel her presence more now than I did before. And I ask her to pray for me. So we believe from heaven, people can help us more than from here in many ways. So put your dad to work, right? He wants to plead your cause. He will go in front of God day and night and plead your cause. And that's a beautiful promise that we have with them. Maybe invite you just to take a moment in your heart and pray for eternal rest for Jay. We offer our prayers for him today. So we pray that he might find his way, might enjoy heaven, communion with God for eternity. Would you please stand? Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Jay, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brother Priest, you're invited to come forward. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead, 
Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Would you please kneel or be seated? You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your servant church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and Zinger, unworthy 
children and Gordon have featured, all that sent you and the entire people you have been and you are. We can graciously dispose of these families whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all these children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Jay, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us to temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. With your peace. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Would you please kneel or be seated? Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Yes, Lord. 
If you are not already seated, please be seated. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Maria gratia plena, Maria Gratia plena, Ave, Ave Dominus, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in molieribus, et benedictus, et 
magic toast, frog toast, fan trees, fan trees to eat. Yes, oh, Ave Maria. Ave Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Ora Ora pro nobis, ora, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus. Nunc et in hora mortis, in hora mortis nostre, in hora mortis mortis nostre, in hora mortis nostre. Ave Maria. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servant, Jay, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, he may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Would you please be seated? Good morning. <clears throat> my name is <clears throat> excuse me. My name is Gina Chimino, and I am Jay's oldest daughter. On behalf of my sister and my brothers, we would like all of you to know how much we appreciate your being here to honor our father, Jay. Your presence would mean so much to him, and it's overwhelming to see how much my dad meant to all of you. I would also like to thank the caregivers that in a very short period of time learned to love him for the wonderful man that he was. Martina, your love and care for your Jay over the last seven years was unwavering and I know how much he appreciated you. Thank you Bishop Golka, Bishop Berg, Bishop Hannafin, Monsignor Yeager and all the clergy 
for being here today and in the weeks leading up to my dad's passing. <clears throat> I want to thank my sister and brothers, all my aunts and uncles and cousins for the time we spent together the last few weeks at dad's house. To my dad's dear friends, Cy Michaels and Chuck Murphy, a huge thank you for always being by his side. Thanks to my children and my best friend, Dan, for your support. I can't imagine what it would be like without you. Gina Sacraponti, Camille Blakely, and all the support teams, thank you for pulling out all the stops to make Dad's celebration of life a very special day and a day we will never forget. So who is my dad, Jay Chimino? <laughs> you can Google him and find pages of his lifetime accomplishments and who he was as a businessman and a philanthropist. <clears throat> if you live in Southern Colorado, you would often end up finding him on your television. But I wanna share with you a side of Jay Chimino that most people didn't have the opportunity to see, a different level of the man. He was the kind of businessman he was because he was the type of person he was. He was born with curiosity and enthusiasm for life. He was athletic, charming, and ambitious. Some of the attributes that illuminated every stage of his life were his deep loyalty, gratitude, and love for family. He wasn't perfect, but he approached life with grit and passion, and he always had a heart for people. Jay grew up in Trinidad, Colorado, in a large Italian family with his twin bro brother, Arnie, his sisters, Marianne, Agnes, and Sylvia, his grandparents, and 11 aunts and uncles who lived next door. I can only imagine what that dinner table was like. His father, Vince, was the oldest of 12 and was the protector and leader of the entire Chimino family. Vince died at an early age of 49, when my dad was only 18 years old. And in a recent conversation with dad, several family members and friends, he shared with us that he always tried to fill his father's shoes. To him, his father was larger than life. The Chimino family core of values evolved around love of family, the love of their hometown Trinidad, their deep Catholic faith, spaghetti on Sundays, cars, cars, and more cars. <laughs> he lived his life never forgetting those values that were woven into his DNA. <clears throat> he and my mom, Emily, raised Vince, Mike, Lori, and I with the same core values. And we enjoyed the simple things in life. Our memories include things like going to the cabin my parents built in Fair Play and riding dirt bikes. Working in the yard on weekends was a family affair because dad always had something for us to do. And he and mom shared the same passion for beautiful flowers. As a family, we physically built two bridges with our own hands one in Fair Play, and one at our home in Santa Fe. Going to Glenwood Springs for summer vacation, or even just taking a ride in one of the old cars that he loved so much. Dad was a simple man with a lot of passion and big ideas, and he never, ever gave up, even when those ideas weren't very good. He loved my mother, Emily, or Saint Emily, a title he gave her, because of her unconditional love for him and our family. Even when he would make her mad or push her too far or put whiskey in the spaghetti sauce behind her back, she still loved and supported him until the day she died nearly eight years ago. <clears throat> Dad had a fierce approach to life and a passion for what he believed in. He could not separate his business life from his personal life. Work was play, and play was work. 
There was no such thing as work-life balance in our house. The dinner table was always his opportunity to teach or preach because, after all, we were a captive audience. He took his role as Papa very seriously and loved mentoring his grandkids and instilling in them his principles of love, loyalty, hard work, and always being grateful. He took great pride in watching them grow and become the young adults that they are today. My dad was so happy to spend time with his first great-grandson, who is named after him, our little Jay. My dad and I had always had a unique and special bond between us. In the last 15 years, he trusted me to work alongside him on his passion projects, building Mount Carmel Wellness and Community Center and Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center, and investing heavily into the redevelopment of his beloved hometown, Trinidad. An occasional meal wasn't enough time for Jay to impart his enormous vision on me. Before I knew it, every workday began with breakfast at Dad's and ended with dinner at Dad's. And if that wasn't enough, he wanted to have spaghetti and meatballs on Sunday, too. <clears throat> His passion and vision was something to be admired, but it also drove me and the rest of us a bit crazy at times. He constantly challenged all of us to build on his vision. And there were days that it was never enough because we couldn't always see his vision as clearly as he could. Jay taught all of us value life, valuable life lessons, and of course there were five, because he always believed in the power of five. First, everything starts with people. Always have a people first attitude. Second, strive every day to be your best self. Third, vision first, always start with vision. Fourth, money kills vision. Never start with money. And five, champion others to be the best they can be. To sum up my dad, I want to read you his definition of a champion. A champion is not perfect, but an ordinary person who inspires others to be the best they can be. He or she is one who puts others first in the journey to win. A champion places vision, passion, and connects with people to lead by treating everyone with respect and by a clear set of objectives. Thank you, Dad, for being my champion, my rock, my mentor, and my friend. And so, on behalf of the Diocese of Pueblo, I wanted to thank you, um, Gina and Lori and Sai, and all of you for taking such good care of your dad over all of these years and um, for helping this friendship to happen. Um, and just very briefly, I met Jay when I decided to buy a car. And <laughs> I, I heard of him, and I came, and sure enough, he was there. I think Randy was there, but somehow I didn't get to meet Randy that time. That came later. But um, he kept me there for seven hours. And <laughs> during that time, I met every one of you, all right? There was a call went out, and then, oh, somebody happens to be here. And we had a wonderful day. And I have a very good car. But um, I can so relate to what I've heard today. It, it brings up so much. Uh, in me when you meet someone who is really special and he comes into your life and he has that vision and Gina I know exactly how crazy that can drive you 
because part of our vision was is Trinidad, and this continues to we do. But our parish is right in the middle of it, Holy Trinity, and so we're developing. Just so you know, Jay's passion for Sister Glandina. He'd love for me to say this. Um, her cause is going forward for sainthood. Sister Glandina was a frontier nun that founded the first school district in Colorado, and Trinidad is school district number one. And then she had this relationship with uh, Billy the Kid. Uh, she was actually able to negotiate with him about not killing some doctors that were going to go and that refused to help his outlaws. She was out there helping the outlaws anyway. Beautiful story of a little saint that we have in a shrine that was built there in Trinidad. And um, working through this and then working with the Mount Carmel, the outreach through COVID for us in Trinidad was just heroic out of Mount Carmel. And then the, um, the, the bringing Mount Carmel now into Pueblo for the veterans, the great passion he has for veterans. So all I can say is um, thank you. It's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a loss. And um, I was able to see him thank you for that, that last little meeting that we had. He looked so strong. And uh, that's how I remember him always. And uh, I just guess I have to throw this in here. Um, bishop Golka and Bishop Hannafin, did he ever tell you that you were his favorite bishops? <laughs> I give my piano music. I did some piano, and he came to my this little concert I did. Uh, for Catholic Charities, and I don't know if he could hear any of it. Could he sigh? Yeah, but I did later play for him over the piano, and that's when he told me, so. <laughs> Thank you, and God bless you. And um, as Bishop Goka said, we, we do have to keep it in mind. This is for real, you know, this life. Living in the present moment, using whatever vision that God gives you, connecting, but that real vision is heaven. Don't let that go. Don't let go of that. Don't take it lightly. That's what Jay taught us and uh, how quickly he went. But um, that's, that's what he is. Thank you. Once again, thank you all for being here to gather to pray for Jay and his family. Immediately after this final commendation, we will process out, we'll take the pall off and uh, process to the coach. The bagpipes will uh, lead us in a song once we get out the back door. And then um, the bagpipes are going to lead us over to the Broadmoor for a celebration of life. For those who may be going and you parked your car here, you may leave your car here. There will be shuttles available for you if you don't want to walk. For those who want to walk, we're going to follow behind bagpipes. Um, which is a nice gesture and it's a nice tradition for many Irish, Scottish, and other Celtic celebrations. So please follow us along. Um, again, if you desire to leave your car here, it can stay here. There will be a shuttle that will bring you back and forth. If you want to drive or you're not going, you're certainly welcome to go home, but um, remember traffic. Um, so take the shuttle. Please stand for the final commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Jay. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Jay, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Jay in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
Yes, sir. 